Hi, welcome back. I'm Mrs. Crankster. Mrs. Crankster? Okay, wow. Days without water and long the sun so grow. We cross over borders, get where we are, and it's all for you. We have the zoomies right now. Every morning <laughs> we get home from the walk. <laughs> zoomies! Zoomies! Oh my gosh, this is making me dizzy. Whoa, are you tired? That's a lot of work. Are you tired? He needs a haircut so bad. He's getting one next week. What's up you guys, good morning. I'm gonna jump in the shower and get myself together for the day. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. I did it all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. Okay, so I curled my hair differently today. I curled the ends instead of um, like, I don't know. I, I usually curl it differently. I usually leave my ends straight and curl like this part and then my ends are straight. But today, I just felt like doing something different and I really like it. I used this curling iron. I think this is an inch and a half. It's the Baby Bliss curling iron. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's always fun to try something new. We have a lot to talk about today, but first I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. It's 9.30 in the morning. Today's the first day that I I'm like getting myself up and together since our embryo transfer, which we'll have a conversation about later. We're officially three days past the frozen embryo transfer. Anyways, I walked Scarlett to school this morning with Andy, came home, showered, got myself ready. While I was getting ready, my friend Katie called me and we had a good chat. I love catching up with her. I will say this morning's been kind of hectic. Getting a five-year-old out the door sometimes is a lot of work and today was one of those mornings. So there's that and then on top of that, I completely spaced our progesterone injection. So I was like 30 minutes late on taking that, which I don't think it's that big of a deal, but whatever, it is what it is. We just took our injection all as well. Also, I'm trying to chug water. So this is what I've been doing because I can't chug cold water. I have this glass that I just set out on the counter and every time I walk by it, I fill it up and then I chug my water. And it's been a really good way for me to get an extra water besides just drinking out of my Yeti cup, which I still need to fill up. But that's something I've been doing. Every time I see it, I fill it up, I chug it. It's a great way to get water in. So try it, let me know if it works for you. The only thing that sounds good right now, please don't judge me, is a burrito. So I'm gonna eat this. These are the best burritos from Costco. Let me give you guys a quick rundown of today and what's going on. I'm gonna give you all an update of our like frozen embryo transfer, how I'm feeling, symptoms I'm having, all of that later. But today Ty and I have to record our podcast episode. So that's like a number one priority for us. And what else? Oh, I need to take him or go with him. He has to drop his car off at, not Ford, Toyota. He has a Toyota. I've left the house once in the past three days. And so it's gonna be kind of nice to go back to normal today for the most part. I'm still taking things super easy um, from our transfer. We need to go to Walgreens to have our passport photos taken. So we might try to squeeze that in today too. We will see. We have been working on planning our Italy trip, which I'm really, really excited about. My friend came over a couple nights ago and we sat down and like planned out our itinerary and got all of our Airbnbs booked and um, yeah, I'm like really looking forward to that. Now that it's like more planned, I'm super excited, but I'm also a little intimidated because I've never been, like I've never traveled like this. So this is gonna be totally new for me. I've been to Turks and Caicos, like I've been to another country, but that's it. That's the only other country I've been to. I've never even been to Mexico and we live in Arizona and Mexico's so close to us and so easy to go to, but 
um, yeah, never, never really traveled outside the United States. So it's new territory for me, but I'm very excited. Our friends have traveled to Europe before, so um, it's nice to go with somebody who kind of like knows what they're doing. Anyways, the other thing I need to do today is order, place an order for our Green Chef meals for next week, which I'm actually gonna do right now. They have an app that I use and that is how I place my orders. We love Green Chef. Green Chef is actually sponsoring today's video. The past couple of weeks have been so crazy with doctor's appointments and um, just life in general. And so it's been really nice to have our dinners fairly planned out for us. If you're not familiar with what Green Chef is, they are a meal kit delivery service. Green Chef makes cooking super easy with pre-proportioned ingredients. They have step-by-step -step instructions. They have actual photos so you know you're cooking your products right. They have chef tips. They try to make your experience if you're not familiar with cooking, extremely easy. One thing I really love about Green Chef too is they are a certified organic company. They contain a variety of organic ingredients. Everything is so fresh and so delicious. Like I love cooking these meals. Every time we have these meals, I'm always so blown away with how much flavor and how tender the meat is. It's very, very good. Green Chef also offers meals to fit a variety of different diets. For example, they offer keto and paleo options, vegetarian options, Mediterranean options. They offer vegan options, gluten-free options. They offer like a healthier fast and fit option as well. Anyways, I'm about to place my order for Green Chef. If you guys wanna check out Green Chef too, I have a discount code. You can go to Green Chef Dot com and you can use my code Caitlin130 to save $130 off. And then on top of that, you're also going to get free shipping. So definitely make sure to check them out if you're looking to make meal times a little bit easier or to spice up your routine or something like that. You guys will definitely not be disappointed. Okay, I have not drove my car for I don't even know how long. It's been like five or six days. And I need to get out and go do something. So naturally, we're going to Target looking for my lip gloss. This is my new favorite color, by the way. It's Evelyn by Buxom, my favorite lip gloss ever. It's a little bit more pinky than Dolly, which is what I typically use. I am out of my favorite oatmeal and Target is the only one that I have found that has the oatmeal that I'm looking for, um, like the specific flavor and everything. So we're gonna go to Target. I also need to get some supplies to make Scarlett a leprechaun box because you know, school projects. Gotta, gotta love school projects. Anyways, I wanted to talk a few symptoms that I've been experiencing. And let me just say, it is so hard to figure out what could potentially be like a pregnancy symptom. What is a symptom of the progesterone and estrogen that I'm on? What is a symptom of having a catheter st stuck up my uterus? Like I, it is so hard, it is so hard. I have definitely been feeling a little off but I just don't know if it's like pregnancy related. So if you're new here, if this is like your first video watching, go back and watch all the other previous ones because it explains everything. But um, we just transferred our embryo um, three, four days ago. So this is day three. So three days past the transfer. And we have our pregnancy test scheduled in six days. So on the ninth day past transfer. So I've definitely been feeling like the normal twinges and a little bit of cramping, but again, like I feel like I always have a reason for why something's happening. Also, let me just say, it could be way too early to even experience a pregnancy symptom. I don't, I mean, I think by now, if the embryo would have been planted, it would have been planted by now. I'm not sure. I don't know, honestly, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I've been feeling some cramping, some twinges, all of that. Definitely a little bit more tired, but I've also cut caffeine and I'm on progesterone and estrogen. So again, there's a reason for that. The other thing that I've noticed is I am so, so cold. I am cold all the time. I'm never this kind of person either. Like I usually am hot, <laughs> but I am so cold. Um, like I'm not joking. I'm wearing my slippers right now because I'm like, I can't even imagine taking those off. I brought other shoes for when I go into Target, but I'm like, I can't imagine taking my slippers off my feet. I'm so cold at all times. Like I'm sleeping in a full on like sweatpants, sweatshirt, socks. And it's, I mean, it's colder here in Arizona. It's like 60 degrees right now, which is actually kind of cold for us, but it's been ridiculous. Like next level, I'm sleeping with a heating pad too, which is ridiculous. I haven't looked it up. I don't know if that's a pregnancy symptom or that's just me being 
a baby with the cold weather in Arizona. I do feel like I had like a sweet craving last night. Uh, I definitely like wanted something sweet and just couldn't get satisfied with anything that I had in my house. That's about as far as it went. I think that's really it. But what I keep trying to remind myself is when I was pregnant with Scarlett, I didn't have really any symptoms either. I never got sick. I never had morning sickness. I started to have symptoms like around like the eight, nine week mark. Like I had sciatic pain and stuff like that. But as far as early pregnancy symptoms go, there wasn't really any. So I keep trying to remind myself that like even if this does work and my body takes the pregnancy and I am indeed staying pregnant, then um, I might not experience pregnancy symptoms because I did it with Scarlett. So I don't know. That's where I'm at. I'm really trying not to overthink every little symptom because again, there's just so many other explanations for why I could be experiencing something. As far as like where I'm at mentally, Ty is definitely very positive right now. I'm kind of starting to feel some self-doubt creep in, which sucks and it needs to go away. So it's definitely up and down. I'm really optimistic, really hopeful, and then the self-doubt creeps in. The intrusive thoughts start happening and you know, it's, it's all downhill from there. So trying to remain positive. We'll just see what happens. We are six days away. I have yet to take a pregnancy test, but I can't promise that'll be the case here in the next couple of days. Okay, this is the real reason why I went to Target. I could not remember if I like the steel cut or the 100 calorie oats the best, but I just got both because I know I'll eat them and I really don't think they're gonna be a huge difference, but this is the oatmeal I'm talking about. I've shared this so many times before and it's so, so good. The maple and brown sugar is my favorite. I also picked up a bunch of veggies for lunch, super random, but I have carrots, sugar snap peas, broccoli cauliflower and then some ranch dipping sauce and then I grabbed some of these for dying easter eggs I feel like these are gonna sell out so I wanted to grab some and then I grabbed Scarlett this t-shirt for St. Patrick's Day also feel like I won't be able to find any of these once we get closer to St. Patrick's Day I didn't end up getting any supplies to make her um, like leprechaun thing but we'll do that another day these are just like a plain um, original they're good too, but it's nice not having to add anything to the oats. Like I'm just looking for something super easy in the mornings and that's why I like these. And then for lunch, I like these little um, like adult Lunchables is what I call them. Meat, cheese, and crackers. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat salami when pregnant though. I mean, I think it's fine at this point, but let me Google this because I'm genuinely curious. Can you eat salami while pregnant? Oh yeah, it's like a deli meat, so they say to avoid deli meats. I'm pretty sure it's fine to eat right now, but um, I don't know, to each their own. I ate Jimmy John's nonstop when I was pregnant with Scarlett, let me just say that. So everything was fine. I'm gonna make myself a little charcuterie board though with crackers, my salami, some cheese, sugar snap peas, carrots, and then a few pieces of broccoli and cauliflower. And then I'm gonna have one of these um, ranch dipping cups with it. And with the meat and cheese, I really like to eat it with this raspberry pepper jelly. It's so yummy. I like to just add a little bit to like the cracker with the cheese and the meat. This is gonna be my lunch. It is podcast time. This is where Ty and I film our podcast <laughs> for the time being. Look at my socks and slippers. <laughs> we are going to sit down and film, film, I always say this, record our podcast episode five. Can't believe we are on our fifth episode. And today we're gonna to be talking about more of like Ty's military background and his story. He's got some really interesting stories in regards to like what he's been through and um, working at Gitmo and all of that. So we're excited to kind of dive into that today. Okay, so it's a lot later now, it's 4.30 and we're gonna not get everything done today. We were like originally gonna get done, um, including <laughs> passport photos and taking Ty's Oops. car in. Like the day has just got away from us. We just picked Scarlett up from school. So she is right over here, watching her iPad. Hi Scarlett. Hi. She's eating a fun dip from Valentine's Day. Um, and we just ordered my favorite dinner. We got North Italia. We went to North Italia. You guys saw this in my last vlog. And um, like for 
our lunch before the frozen embryo transfer and I tried this pizza for the first time. It's a fig and goat cheese pizza and it was so good. And I've seriously been looking forward to getting this pizza again for so long. And today was the day, so what'd we get? Ooh, are my nails in? I wonder if my nails came in. I So I picked off my nails yesterday. You guys, these nails that I've been telling you about, the, oh, what's it called, Ohara, I think? They are so good. I had mine on for two weeks and I picked them off yesterday. They weren't even coming off. And so I ordered a second, like a second pack because I wanted to try a new color and I'm hoping they just came in because I would love to put them on. This does not look like it's nails. Probably not. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a birthday gift. We have a birthday party to go to this weekend and I got a stomp rocket. Scarlett used to have one of these. They're so fun. We're gonna go to um, Pierce's birthday party this weekend. I thought he would like that. What do you think? I wanna play. <laughs> Maybe he'll share it with you. Also keep staring at my little baby embryo. So cute. So adorable. I leave it right here so I can like look at it every time I walk by. Got our food in. This is what my pizza looks like. So bomb. Take a deep breath and then exhale. Carly? <laughs> You're so cranky, dude. Oh. Hi, welcome back. I'm Mrs. Crankster. Mrs. Crankster? Okay, wow. wow. That's something in my tooth. What? I am moody AF right now. There's a dog outside that won't stop barking. Andy, Who's making our dog bark? Andy! Dude, you look cranky. I look cranky? Yeah. This doesn't help that he is right here making what? it worse, rubbing it in. I am feeling- Oh, I'm making it worse today? Yeah, it's you. What? It's not me, it's you. It's not me, it's you. Wow, <laughs> let's see how it is. Okay, I am feeling extremely moody right now. Um, this dog outside. I hope it means that something's happening because otherwise I don't know why I'm so moody. I'm sorry, Ty. No, you're good, it's all good. You're on a lot of, a lot of let meds. You're too good to me. <laughs> Way too good to me. I mean, you're always crazy, but you're now you're especially crazy. Wow, okay. Um, so yeah, if this is a symptom, yay. Maybe it means something or I'm just a moody bee tonight. I've got to shut the store of the stock. All right, as I was saying, okay. oh my God. <laughs> hey, don't, be, don't yell at me. I'm just mindlessly scrolling. Right? <laughs> As I was saying, I've been feeling a lot of um, cramping on my left side, like super, super low. It's definitely not period cramping. It's either something happening like implantation or it's just cramping from them digging around in my uterus with a catheter. It has definitely been in my left side, which is where my uterus is at. <laughs> I'm gonna go hide in my closet. For real? <laughs> you might have better <laughs> I think it's time for me to end out the vlog and I think we need to play a family game of sorry to get me out of this mood. Or something, I don't know. Should we play sorry? But then what if, what if you get bad cards and then it makes you the worst man? I just flip the board? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can handle you with that much stress. <laughs> Okay, what is going on? Um, I need to end this video, so thanks for watching today. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.